A couple of days ago I made a video about what would happen if you were caught driving without a license in Germany and a few people, and as far as I could tell all of them were German, said that I should make it clear that I didn't mean leaving your license at home, I meant not being legally allowed to drive. Okay, that was a Rublitz video which is supposed to be short and everybody else seemed to know what I meant, but if you turned on German subtitles you'll have noticed that I was very careful to use the correct German word. But this gives me an opportunity for a quick language lesson and I know that at least some of you enjoy language lessons or at least that's the impression that I get. So we begin with the difference between Führerschein and Fahrerlaubnis. A Fahrerlaubnis is the permission granted you by the authorities to operate a road vehicle. A Führerschein is the physical card that proves you have that permission. In English we translate both the same way. So what I was talking about in my video was Fahren ohne Fahrerlaubnis, which is a crime with very harsh penalties. Either you've never passed a driving test or you've had your license suspended or revoked. If you have a valid license where you just forget to bring it with you when you go for a drive, that is Fahren ohne Führerschein, which is a mere infraction for which you'll probably be fined 10 euros or something. Which brings us to the verbs fahren and führen and how they compare with English verbs like to go and to drive. And this is something that is really very easy to get wrong. A common mistake for example for Germans to make when speaking English is to produce sentences like I drive by train. So first off, fahren is not synonymous with to drive. The German verb fahren means to get from one place to another in a vehicle. The English to drive means to operate a vehicle. So in English you cannot drive by train. You can either drive the train, meaning that you sit at the front pushing the levers, or you go by train as a passenger. But sometimes in German fahren can mean to drive. There's a difference between ich fahre mit dem Auto, which means I sit inside the car as it transports me from one place to another, and ich fahre Auto, which means I sit in the driver's seat operating the controls causing the car to move. In old-fashioned formal language the word for to drive is führen, but in normal everyday German that word isn't used anymore, fahren is used instead, with one exception. A bus driver is Busfahrer, but a train driver is Lokführer. And in case you're wondering, there's nothing terrible about this word. In certain contexts it can mean leader and just because one genocidal madman used it to describe himself doesn't make the word bad. It's not common, but neither is it taboo. But what's that I hear you shouting at the screen? Don't those two words look similar? Why, yes they do, and in fact in the old days, the very old days when German looked a lot different from what it does now, they were different parts of the same verb. Basically fahren originally came from an old verb meaning to move and führen was the causative form of that verb, it meant to cause to move. And for those of you who are really interested in etymology, it can be traced all the way back to a word in the long extinct Proto-Indo-European language meaning to bring across, which also gives us the English word ferry. So yes Germans, I am aware of the difference between Fahrerlaubnis and Führerschein, it's just that the difference gets lost in translation and it really doesn't matter because everybody knew what I meant. Incidentally I hope that uh, later this year I will be able to start travelling again, when I do I have some ideas about what I want to do with this channel. There will be some small changes but I think you'll like them, but it'll take a while because I've made the decision that I'm not going to start travelling again until the hotels are open to tourists and face masks are no longer mandatory, but fingers crossed. Uh -huh.